Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So the other day when I was on live, um, one of my Jamaican tea sippers, Island Gal, she hit me up about the whole Usain Bolt situation, about him basically getting jacked for $12 million out of his investment account. This is just extremely disturbing because this man has done a lot for Jamaica, for the, you know, the sports world, the track and field world, um, the Olympics and things like that. And so right now, um, there's over $12 million missing. They left him with only $12,000. So I want to go ahead and play you guys this updated news information. Um, as of today, he and his lawyers are now threatening. They're telling SSL, who is the private investment company, that they have 10 days to come up with his $12 million or else. So this is what's being reported. A lawyer for Usain Bolt said that more than $12.7 million is missing from his account with a private investment firm in Jamaica. Linton P. Morgan, a lawyer for Bolt, provided the Associated Press with a copy of a letter sent to Stocks, Securities, and Limited demanding that the money be returned. Gordon said that the Olympic champion's account once had $12.7 Seven million, but now reflects a balance of only twelve thousand dollars. If this is correct, we are hoping that it's not. Then serious acts of fraud, larceny, or a combination of both have been committed against our client. They have threatened civil and criminal action if the money is not returned within ten days. Now I'm gonna keep it real with you. Good luck with that. Okay, I believe that twelve million dollars has been spent, and they are gone. And it, it's a shame, you know, it's a shame, but this is happening, honestly, all around the world. Sprint legend Usain Bolt is among scores of victims of a massive fraud at one of Jamaica's oldest investment companies, Stocks and Securities Limited, SSL. Bolt invested about 10 million US dollars with the company in 2012 and did not make any drawdowns. Acting on the advice of an ex-employee, Bolt, along with his legal team, recently reviewed the account. They found that the 12.7 million US dollars that was reflected on the account as at October 31 last year had been depleted to just 12,000 US dollars by early this month. An employee at the company, Jean Ann Panton, submitted a sworn statement to the police in which she confessed to perpetrating fraud against 39 customers at SSL. Now, the statement, dated January 7, 2023, lists the names of those fleeced and the amounts taken from their accounts. However, Bolt's name is conspicuous by its absence from the list. On Tuesday, the law firm representing the 36-year-old wrote to SSL demanding restitution. A part of their missive said, quote, For your part, we are demanding that you pay over to our client the said sum of United States $12,758,181.74 standing to his account on the 31st day of October 2022 as issued to him by you. We are demanding that this be done within the next 10 days, failing which we will take all legal action against you and your directors, which action will include civil and criminal procedures. Now, Hello everybody, good morning. This is ABI of North African Food Market in Wari Delta State. I'm right here in GTB Bank, Airport Road Branch, Wari Delta State. This is the second time in two months they are stealing from my account without any trace. There was a restriction on the accounts. They changed my bank um, ATM card and everything. And yesterday again, they took money from my account. The manager is there. Nobody's doing anything. It is my business money. I sell the fish for a living. Please make this go viral. Make this go viral. GTB Bank are frustrating small businesses in Nigeria. They are frustrating small businesses in Nigeria. Make this go viral. GTB Bank has stolen from me, stolen my business money. I sell crayfish for a living. My business name is now African Food Market 
on Facebook and Instagram. They are stealing my money. GTP Bank is not doing anything. They are stealing my money. They are bunch of thieves in this bank. Small businesses are suffering. It is hard enough that Nigeria is frustrating us. Our banks are frustrating us. We keep money in the banks. They steal our money. GTP Bank is frustrating me. I've called them out on Twitter and they're not doing anything. I am not leaving this bank until they refund my money. They told me to wait for 45 working days. While waiting, they stole another money from, from my account. Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, Instablog Ninja. Save me. Come to my aid. I sell great fish. I sell the fish. I am a graduate. There was no, no job for me. I started selling crayfish. But GTB Park is frustrating me. I am a mother of three children. GTB Park is frustrating me. They have stolen my money. They have stolen my money. I am right here in GTB Park. Airport Road, come to my aid. Come to my aid. Nigeria is frustrating me. My bank is frustrating me. Come to my aid. Customers who were victims of the alleged illegal withdrawal on Monday in Abuja urged authorities to address the trend urgently. Helen Iziguzu, a customer with one of the new generation banks, said, No wonder the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, said there is so much money in the hands of Nigerians outside the banks. People are beginning to lose hope in commercial banks. Ms. Iziguzu added in quote, Instead of my money to develop wings and disappear from my account, just in a day, I rather invest it into real estate business and it will yield greater profit. And to Sans chef to attention to what is unfolding in China, where a large group of very angry demonstrators faced off with the police and the staff on Sunday in the city of Zhengzhou. And they did this to protest against the financial scandal that has now grabbed the attention of the entire nation. Now, this, remember, in China is a rare public demonstration. At least about a thousand depositors gathered in front of the Zhengzhou sub-branch of the People's Bank of China to voice their extreme anger against the alleged charge of corruption. The protesters were amongst the thousands of customers who had opened their bank accounts in six rural banks in Henan and also in neighboring Anhui province that offered a higher rate of interest. According to reports that have come in, the banks decided to freeze millions of dollars worth of deposits in the month of April and they told their customers that they were actually upgrading their internal systems. The videos from the protest site showed security guards shoving the protesters off to prevent them from gathering near the bank as they chanted slogans. The protesters, of course, responded by pelting stones to push back the guards because they said that their money is in danger. Mass protests are a very rare sight in China. Remember, these happen very rarely in the tightly controlled nation, where any form of public dissent is very brutally crushed down. People are going to their bank accounts, investment accounts, and they're finding that their money is gone. Now, I've been telling y'all for the past two years that the banking institution is going through it. In 2021, over 4,000 physical branches shut down. I don't know if people caught them teas, but yes, over 4,000 banks around the country shut down. And that is because they're trying to move us to a digital currency and they want everybody to do everything online. And they have the technology so good now, you really don't even have to go into a physical bank. They have a lot of banks who have now who are now working with like different ATMs around the country where you can just go if you need cash, you can go to these ATMs and supposedly get cash. But if you guys remember, I'm um, in December when I needed some cash, you know, I was getting some stuff for Christmas. None of the ATMs for Wells Fargo were working. I had posted on Discord. Um, and this is an ATM I've been going to for probably off and on 10 years. I've never seen it without money. I've never seen them have a note and tell me to go 20 minutes away to go find cash. Okay. 
it is negative 10 degrees. There is currently no cash at this ATM at Wells Fargo. So I said, okay, well, let me drive around to the other side. It is freezing out here. I've been coming to this ATM since I was a kid. What do you know? Out of service. There is no money at these Wells Fargo ATMs. Child, something's going on. Something is going on out here. So even some of these ATMs are not working, but I believe what a lot of these banks are doing, they are taking from Peter, we are Peter, to pay off Paul, who is just different debts. Now, what was so crazy is that after the whole Usain Bolt situation that I talked about, the very next day, Bank of America customers woke up, they were on Twitter going off, honey. They woke up to find a lot of their bank balances at zero, negative two, three hundred dollars. Um, their Zelle payments were missing. This caused a lot of fury online yesterday. It was insane. People were very upset as they should be. Imagine having two, three thousand dollars in your account and you go and there's nothing there, but you have bills due. You had to buy gas, you had to buy groceries. So this was a mess, but bank issues with Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and these other banks, these issues have been happening for a while. It's just that the so-called glitch, and I don't believe it was a glitch at all, it happened to so many people at once that it started raising alarms. As a matter of fact, we, along with the Shade Room, were one of the few people posting about it. The mainstream media didn't even get on the story until like 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We have been talking about it since about 9 a.m. You know, so it was a social media story. Then eventually the mainstream hopped on it. And then, you know, after a while, Bank of America had to say something. But there was a man on TikTok who went to like several different banks and he could not get his money out. And this was as early as January 3rd. Hey, what's up, TikTok? So it's January 3rd, about 1235 in the morning. I got up out of my house, drove over to the bank, inserted my card in the ATM. And it said that they were having technical difficulties. That was at one Bank of America. So I drive up the street, maybe about a quarter mile, half a mile away to another Bank of America and the same technical issue. So then I was like, you know, I don't really bank with other banks, but I guess I'll let them charge me four bucks for the sake of pulling the money out to go gamble. I go and then displayed on the screen is unable to do trans, uh, cash transactions. So now I'm currently at Wells Fargo and I put my card in and it tells me the same thing. None of these banks are giving out any money right now. What's going on? Anybody know what's going on, man? Anybody else experiencing this? Is this just today? Was it yesterday? What's up? Give me some insight. What are they doing? Holding back my money? What do I even have a bank account for? Why do I have a bank account for if I can't pull out my money when I need it? What do you mean you're having technical difficulties? Give me my effing money, homie. So it's just been a lot of stuff going on with the banking industry right now. And it's really scary. But that's why I was saying on the live stream that you have to dis that you have to diversify. Anyways, y'all go ahead and check out these videos. So I'm a Bank of America and everybody's missing money. I'm also missing money over thirteen hundred dollars and they're telling me to call customer service. And they, and, they, and they keep hanging up on people. This is another person here is also missing money. So we're trying to see what's going on. Money's missing today and we need our money. And they're already telling us to call customer service. And customer further service ain't doing nothing about it. So just a heads up, if anybody's experiencing this, please let us know because this is not right. I'm missing fourteen hundred dollars from my account. And they're telling me that there's no way they can help us. This guy's missing money too. This other person is missing money too. And he's like, you missing money too? There you go. So this is not something that's just one person. This is everybody's happening to them. And this is crazy. This is very crazy. Yes, Bank of America decided to take people's money without their consent. And we're asking what's going on and they're giving us a runaround. Everybody for the same thing, man. Same thing. Bank of America and Zelle are now blaming each other for a technical glitch that had customers missing money from their accounts. Bank of America says the issue has been resolved, attributing it to an issue with the Zelle app. 
But Zell is blaming the bank, saying there was no issue with its platform. ABC News business reporter Alexis Christophorus is here with more on this. Alexis, what do we know at this point about what and how this happened? Yeah, they're playing the blame game, and who gets hurt in all this is the customer, right? So a really scary and frustrating day for lots of Bank of America customers. Imagine logging onto your account and seeing that money is missing. In some instances, there were negative balances. So as you can imagine, uh, these people ran to the bank for answers. They didn't get any, so they lit up social media. They said they were calling the bank. No one was answering their calls. Some people stormed the branches. There was one person who tweeted, I almost lost my mind when I saw $2,000 was missing from my account. Not accepting calls because of extenuating circumstances is insane. Call me. And that's when the blame game started. So Bank of America blaming a technical glitch at the payment platform Zelle for the vanishing funds. But Zelle was quick to put the blame back on the bank, saying the issue was not the result of any issues with the Zelle network. The good news is by yesterday afternoon, Bank of America said all the funds were back and they thought everything was okay. But I'll tell you what, this is a, a confidence crisis that they're going through right now. And a lot of customers are still steaming Earlier mad. Today, thousands of Bank of America customers and Dell users reported money had been taken out of their accounts. The banking chain, the, the banking chain says that as of this evening, that issue has been resolved. Don Hood joining us live now after speaking with the Chesterfield County woman. And John, has she gotten her money back yet? Yeah, hey, Mickey. Well, it's a little more complicated than that. The woman I spoke with tonight says she woke up this morning with $1,000 missing from her bank account. Tonight, she's just hoping to see all of that money return. Yeah, we're just disappointed because there wasn't an email stating that this was a problem. Ellen Holman says for more than 20 years, she's been a customer with Bank of America and has never had an issue like this one before. I realized that there was money missing, and now I just didn't know, I don't know where it is. Holman says she woke up Wednesday morning to money missing from her account. Her first instinct was to call Bank of America, but she says no one ever got back to her. The message that I received was, due to circumstances, we can't take your call. Call back. And that was this morning around 7.30. She said she then told her daughter about the issue, who later told her mom it's not only happening to her. Mommy, you are not the only one. It's all over Twitter. Other people's money is missing. I'm like, what? According to downdetector.com, a website that manages disruptions to services, there were more than 1,200 reports of issues with Bank of America's site. The bank later sent out a notification to some customers saying Zelle transactions made between January 14th and January 17th may be delayed in occurring and posting to accounts as requested, and went on to apologize for the inconvenience. Holman says she's frustrated because she never received that message and uses Zelle with Bank of America for her childcare business. Those are payments from the daycare parents, and they sell it to me into my business account, and then I wake up and it's not there. And I reached out to Bank of America, who says the issue has been resolved and are working to make sure clients receive their funds. However, Holman says once her money is returned, she's thinking about leaving her bank. Well, you may have noticed it lately. Many banks closing branches as more customers bank online and fewer go into the bank in person. But for one East Bay man, it caused a mild panic, actually. The Bank of America shut down his branch just hours after he made a huge deposit and his money disappeared. So you can imagine how worried he was. So he came to Seven on Your Side's Michael Finney, as so many people do, to find out what to do, Michael. Yeah, it's hard to believe this story happened at a major bank. Yeah, true. Uh, this viewer deposited $33,000 through a teller at a Bank of America in Oakland, and hours later, the branch shut down. His deposit never got posted, and everybody kept telling him, sorry, there's nothing we can do. And I said, you're telling me the Bank of America lost $33,000 of my money, and you're telling me right here to my face there's nothing you can do. That's right, sir. It was like a bad dream, except it was real. I started to think I may not see the money ever. Brian Leonard deposited $33,000 into his account at Bank of America. Then it disappeared. Nobody said, we'll find out where the money is. We'll make good on it. We'll take care of it. There was none of that. It all began here in Brian's kitchen. My wife and I are in the midst of a big kitchen remodel. 
Brian had to pay the contractor and needed to transfer $33,000 from his account at Wells Fargo to his account at B of A. He brought a cashier's check straight to the teller at B of A so it would clear right away. And she said it would post that afternoon or next morning at the latest. However, when he checked his account the next day, the money was not there. He called B of A and it was not good news. The woman said that there was no record of the transaction, so as far as she was concerned, no transaction happened. Brian drove back to the bank and got another surprise. B of A had shut down that branch just hours after he had made his big deposit. And when I realized the branch that was closed and the teller that took my $33,000 cashier's check is nowhere to be found, my heart sank into my stomach. I, I feel like I just saw a boat leaving dock and my money is on the boat. Brian went to another branch only to find the doors locked there too. So that's when I started to get very nervous. It's just like, wait a second, the branches are closing. The people that I've had contact with gone. He went to a third branch. It was open, but the manager didn't help. He said there's no record of the transaction, so there was nothing he could do. Brian showed him the cashier's check and deposit receipt, proof of the missing money. And I said, well, you're the manager. Can you escalate the issue? He says, no, there's nothing I can do. Brian says everyone at B of A kept telling him that. And there was nothing he could do. There was nothing that she could do. So there's nothing I can do. So there was nothing he could do. They kept repeating, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do about that. It was kind of kind of Kafka-esque. But there was something Brian could do. He contacted the bank's CEO, the federal government, and seven on your side. That ball started moving very quickly. B of A tells us the problem arose because the cashier's check was made out to Bank of America, not Brian, and it delayed the process. B of A didn't say why no one helped Brian track down his money until now. Bank of America contacted me and they said, we are going to give you $33,000 immediately. A seven on your side, you were on it from the get-go. And so, thank you. You're welcome. That's what we do here. Now, look, this story is a great reminder. Keep your receipts. Bank of America did not comment on whether the shutdown of that branch may have caused a problem with the deposit, but says it's a temporary closure. This is one of hundreds of bank branches to close nationwide over the past year, and we're starting to hear more and more problems related to these shutdowns. And what concerns me, too, is you have receipts and they mean nothing? Yeah. I, well, I have a receipt. Right. As, as you said at the top, I, I've never heard of this at a major bank. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back. It's the case of the disappearing money for one local small business in the tune of $10,000. 13 of SK Tanker Trisha Keene shows us sometimes your security measures just aren't enough. Almost $10,000 was withdrawn from the account and transferred to an unknown person. It's a nightmare scenario for any small business. It happened to Desert Gym Cats back in September. Initially, it was just a okay, this is clearly a fraudulent transaction. We're gonna report it to the bank. We would get it refunded. But Bank of America denied the claim. They said that the, uh, this transaction went through via authorized methods. It didn't really make too much sense. So from there we had months of meetings with uh, workers at the bank and managers of our local branch. When that didn't provide answers, Desert Gym Cats reached out to 13 investigates. We contacted Bank of America. They tell us the money was sent using a required security code. In a statement, the bank says the transaction quote involved our sending a code to the sender's device that must be correctly entered by the sender before the transaction can proceed. But Kyle claims that never happened. Local IT expert Kurt Miller says there's a weak link that crooks can exploit. If somebody has access to your email or the computer itself and they log into that website, they have everything. Fargo they Bank has agreed to pay billions of dollars to settle charges that had harmed consumers by charging illegal interest and fees. Here are the details by the numbers. More than $2 billion, that's how much the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau ordered the bank to return to the 16 million consumers impacted. That includes 11 million car loan borrowers. The Bureau says that the bank must pay $1.3 billion for improperly charging fees and interest, wrongfully possessing vehicles 
cancels and failing to give refunds for some types of charges when a loan ended early. Wells Fargo will pay another $200 million for illegal home mortgage practices. The Bureau says for at least seven years, the bank improperly denied mortgage loan modifications, which in some cases led to consumers losing their homes to wrongful foreclosures. More than $500 million will go to victims of illegal overdraft fees. The bank is accused of charging some customers even when they had enough money in their account to cover their transaction. The settlement also includes a $1.7 billion fine. That's the largest penalty the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has ever levied against a bank. The bank said today that it has already resolved many of the infrastructure issues that led to the abuses and that it continues to reform. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau called the bank a, quote, repeat offender and urged consumers who are still experiencing problems to submit complaints on their website. All right, see, I just saw those news clips. So it's getting real out here. Um, so like I said, I would suggest diversifying. Don't put all your money in one bank. Um, find decent banks. Uh, well, there's there's not a whole lot to choose from. You know what I'm saying? I even had to close down my credit union. <laughs> So y'all got me fucked up. Um, a lot of these banks are doing really slick shit. So you have to just stay on top of it. Stay on top of your money. At this point, everybody should be checking their apps, checking your accounts every day, if not every other day. Because I don't trust these banks at this point. It's a bunch of shady shit going on. Because the sooner that you realize that your money is missing, the sooner you can jump on top of it. You don't want to wait six months down the line and realize that they don't took $1,000. Because I think what a lot of these banks are doing, and not all of them, of course, they're taking a little bit here, a little bit there, where you won't notice that, oh, it's just $100, it's just 50 bucks. But if you're, you know, low-key siphoning 50 bucks from thousands of customers, that adds up. And I think a lot of that is going on as well. So definitely check your balances, check your payments, check what's going in to your account, check definitely what's coming out of your account. But you got to stay on top of it because nobody's going to manage your money better than you. Um, but I just hope that Usain Bolt gets his money back because what's happening to him is just insane. Um, I don't care if people are mad that, oh, he's made that much money running. That was a talent that God blessed him with. He worked hard for his money. Return that man. Run that man, okay? Literally run him back his money, okay? Because the shit's not cool. So anyways, y'all, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on all of this drama concerning the banking industry. Usain Bolt and many customers losing their money yesterday. And, you know, Bank of America just coming out and saying, oh, it's just a glitch. I'm not buying it. I think it's a lot more going on in the economic system. So um, definitely save up, diversify, and stay on top of your accounts. I will talk to y'all later. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Feel free to share the video. Most important, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.